Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this smoke trails with dynamic paint. Let's start out in a new scene and add in a plane. Let's press tab to go into edit mode, right click and subdivide it a few times because without subdivision the dynamic paint doesn't work. After that you can add in any object you want, you can even add in a car or a plane that crashes into the floor and leaves a trail of smoke behind. In my case I just add in a cube and animate it from left to right, so I move it a few frames, something around 60, so it moves from left to right. After that we can select the plane and under the physics tab we can add in a dynamic paint. Because we want to paint on the plane we have to add in a canvas right here and we will change the surface type from paint to weight mode. Because the smoke simulation later can use the weight information to create smoke on a certain path or restrict it from being generated. For the sphere we also have to add in a dynamic paint but instead of a canvas we have to add in a brush and click on add brush. If you select the plane again and scroll down to cache you can see it is grayed out. That is because you have to save the blender file before you can bake anything. After you save the scene everything should be available. Now I will change the start and end frame from 1 to 100 because I don't need that much. And just for the fun of it I will hit bake. If you play the animation you can see nothing is actually happening. To see the effect we have to change the object mode to weight paint and still nothing is going on. I also had this error before I recorded the video and I got super frustrated because I couldn't figure out what is wrong. But now I know how to fix it. It's because we have to open up the output panel right here and then hit the plus button right here. This will add in a new vertex group and it shouldn't be marked red anymore. Now to see the effect we have to delete the bake and bake it again. And now if we play the animation you can see the ball paints on the plane. Now as you can already guess the red part here will emulate smoke and the blue part will produce no smoke at all. But right now the red part stays red the whole time so smoke will be generated always at these spots. Maybe that's the effect you are going for but I I want that the red part dissolves slowly so the smoke emulation stops after a while. Therefore we have a simple option over here, the dissolve button, just activate it and under the time I will change it to something around 100. To see the effect we have to delete the bake and bake it again. And now as you can see the ball paints on the plane and the color dissolves slowly after a while. If you want to dissolve it faster or slower you can just increase or decrease the time over here. Alright to actually generate smoke now we have to go back into the object mode and select the plane. To add in a quick smoke simulation we can press F3. This will open up this menu right here and we can type in quick smoke and select it. This will add all necessary parts for the smoke simulation to work. I will already go into rendered view to see what is going on and I will add in a simple sunlight to see some nice shadows. Now if we snap back to frame 0 and play the simulation you can see smoke will be emulated from everywhere of the plane. We don't want that so we select the plane, go into the physics section, there close the fluid and dynamic paint drop down menu and move the dynamic paint above the fluid simulation. Then open up the fluid tab and scroll down to vertex group and in here just select the one we created before. Now if we snap back to frame 0 and play the simulation again you can see the smoke starts generating after the ball and dissolves after a few seconds. To see the smoke better we can select the smoke domain and go into the shader editor and up the density to maybe around 20 for now just to see the smoke a little bit better. Alright so far so good we have smoke that is generated after the ball that slides across the plane. But the smoke looks super clean and not so realistic. Therefore select the plane again and activate the initial velocity. So I will change the x value, this is this axis right here, to minus 1 and play the animation again. And now you can see the smoke flies a little bit more to the back, so it has a sense of speed. We can also activate the texture down here and to add in a texture we have to create one so we go into the texture settings and press new. Under the type we select the cloud version and under the size I change it to 0.1. Let's go back into the physics setting and select the texture we just created and snap back to see the results 
As you can see, the smoke already looks a little bit more interesting, but we can boost those settings up. Therefore, we have to select the smoke domain, and under the physics settings, we have a lot of options to change how the smoke looks. For the resolution, I will change it from 32 to 64. We can also activate the adaptive domain. This will decrease the baking time and the simulation. To get more variation, we can activate the noise settings, and for now, the default values are fine. If you're happy with everything, you can go down to cache and change the start and ending frame of your simulation, change the type to all and hit bake all. All right, after the bake is done, you can see the smoke looks way more interesting, has some high resolution and some noise in it, so it makes it more realistic and more interesting to look at. If you want to change the color of the smoke, make sure you select the smoke domain over here and in the shader editor, you can change the color of the smoke right here. And in the density, you can change how dense the smoke looks or how, or how translucent you want to have it. I feel like for simple smoke, those settings are enough. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about a smoke shader, just write it in the comments. And that was it for today. I hope you could learn something new. I hope you can create your own smoke trail. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will see you the next time. Peace out.